guys, what's up? It's late, and I gotta go to sleep and wake up in a few hours, take my mom to the airport, and then run a million errands tomorrow, but I thought I'd just make this video and say hi. Hi, guys. Okay, bye. I'm just kidding. But a lot of you guys have been asking me about my new house and what it's like and how it is, and it is awesome. Not just for me, but for my puppy, Kaz. He had a rough childhood or puppyhood being cramped in an apartment well, actually he had his own room so i don't think it's cramped he destroyed that room by the way but he loves running around outside and he is he's one of the reasons i got the house in the first place so he'd have a backyard to play in and poop in and it's been a week now and i can't even walk outside without stepping in a ton of poop so i gotta do something about that because he's taking advantage of the backyard and the the poop pooping freely thing. I know. <laughs> but anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about something that recently happened and it's kind of scary. I will admit it is kind of scary and not a lot of things scare me except Outlast and Outlast, but <laughs> I, I got a knock on my door the other day. I don't like answering the door like ever. I really, I never answer the door. Even in my apartment, I never answer the door unless it was like UPS or FedEx. But um, I looked through the peephole and it was some guy from ADT. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll answer it. And I should say he was dressed in an ADT uniform rather than an employee, but he was with his friend in a Corolla outside trying to sell me an ADT system, you know, the home security system. And first of all, I didn't know they went around the neighborhood asking people if they needed security. He pretty much asked me if I had a security system already, and I was like, uh, yeah. And then he was just like, can I come in and see it? I'm like, whoa, whoa, really? No, you cannot come in my house. And he gave me a flyer, and then he was just trying to persuade me to buy ADT. And then he just gave me a flyer, and he was just like, call this number. This is my number. And then he gave me his name and his number and to install it if I changed my mind. And I refrained from slamming the door in his face and telling him to fuck off. But I was just like, okay, yeah, I'll let you know like a pussy. But <laughs> no, I just wanted to be sneaky. But I really wanted to be like, hey, I know what you're doing. I know what you're up to. If you were smart, you'd fuck off my property and I would like get my gun out of the closet, my BB gun, just to scare him. But I would like to do that one day. I don't have a real gun yet, but I will probably get one soon. And if you guys haven't figured it out, I suspected he was a burglar, or at least knew someone who was who was a burglar, and he was just trying to scope out the houses for a potential robbery. Uh, I mean, ADT does not go door to door, and if they did, it would be in a company vehicle, not a Corolla with your friend driving you around. But anyways, he did give me his name, and on the paper, I decided to call ADT and ask him if they he worked for them. And they said their employees don't go door to door, and he wasn't found in their system. Hmm. And apparently, there have been a lot of fake employees. They actually have a hotline to check if an employee is a real employee. So, I was right. He is up to no good. He is trying to do something. And I will be looking out for it. And I am going to be buying a gun, hopefully, this weekend. And shoot someone if they try to break in. And I'm not scared at all of shooting anyone. It's actually kind of exciting. Exhilarating. And not, not killing someone, I don't want to kill somebody, but teaching someone a lesson, like shooting them in the foot or something, if they try to break in, it's like, ah, I won. But yeah, if they try to break into my house, because that's, that's no, you don't break into my house. And how I figured it out in the first place, like you don't come into someone's house like that. I know how criminals think in their, their mind. I do have a criminal master, I am a criminal mastermind actually. I come up with all these weird ways how to infiltrate the system and all, all that stuff. So I, I know how people think and how criminals think. And yeah, by the way, I have been to shooting ranges and I know how to use a gun, so no worries there. I'm not gonna accidentally shoot myself. <laughs> I don't even know how that happens. But yeah, it does suck. Someone might wanna break in, but I'll figure it out. I'll get a security system installed or cameras because you really can't be too careful. I really have to do something about it. But yeah. Hopefully this guy doesn't break in or something. I don't know. I have to find some way to scare him off. Scare the neighbors. Scare the neighborhood so no one messes with me. But yeah, that's all for today. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.